LimeBridge creates an improved workflow due to the consolidation of data in the explorable interface and the ability to pre-configure your analysis. This workflow leads to standardized outputs that help create a more consistent and efficient process to building work papers. In this video, we will highlight a recommended approach to showing your work within LimeBridge. An important step to gaining efficiencies in your workflow is to pre-configure the analysis to incorporate key trends, ratios, and data table filters that are consistently utilized when analyzing an entity's operations. This process can be completed at the library level or an engagement level. The library is found in your administrative settings and applied to all engagements, and the engagement level would be configured for that particular organization. As seen here in the engagement settings of this particular file, we're able to view all the key ratios that were incorporated in and analyzing th this particular ledger. We would recommend incorporating key ratios or trends that are consistently analyzed with the goal of automating the core of your analysis, but being agile for key elements that come up during the engagement. Once the analysis is pre-configured, we can head over into the report section. In the report section, we can find the completeness check report in the bottom left hand corner. When we export this report, we're able to get an analysis of all the different accounts we have and how they compare to the closing trial balance. In this report, we take the opening trial balance, we calculate all the net movement in the general ledger and calculate a closing balance. We then compare that calculated closing to the supplied closing to identify any discrepancies. What we're able to do is quickly filter and see which accounts are out of balance. And this helps us validate the, the completeness of the ledger and builds our confidence in the other work papers that will be produced from the system. Now we've headed over to the ratio tab where we will discuss our first workflow, which is automatically exporting core trends and ratios related to specific account areas. So what we're able to do is leverage the account filter here at the top uh, and look at our account hierarchy to select a particular area. In this case, maybe we want to select revenue and apply that to the ratio tab. Now what this does is everything on this page is related to the revenue um, category. And what we can then do from here is quickly export all of these different ratios that are related to revenue, our six of six here, and export them into a nice clean Excel file for our work papers. Within the work paper, we get the exact visualization that we saw in the system with a month by month and year over year analysis of that particular trend line. Additionally, we will also get an annotation data report, which gives you all the underlying data to support that particular visualization that was exported. This will allow the user to quickly get into the analytics that are key to the organization. Now, the second workflow is a more agile workflow to support um, the unique situations that would come up during an engagement. And this workflow can be applied to the financial statements, the trends, the ratios, or the risk overview screen, leveraging the annotation function. For example, if we head over to the financial statement tab and I select a particular line such as cash and cash equivalents, we have the monetary flows by account. In this particular visualization, we're able to see if cash and cash equivalents was our credit value, what, do, what was our debit value? And we can see it was mainly clearing our payables. And vice versa, if cash and cash equivalents was our debit value, what was our credit value? Well, it's mainly clearing our receivables. Maybe this is something that is important to understanding how the transactions were recorded in this particular entity. In the top right hand corner, I can make an annotation around this particular visualization. Um, cash, and we'll call it classification. Transactions. And I can add this annotation, which will then end up in my annotation tab. Maybe I want to continue down this road of investigating cash, and I can see this cash account here, and I want to drill down into the trends. So this trend uh, looks relatively interesting, so I can see the ending balances on a year by year basis. I can once again go in this top right hand corner, I can leverage the annotation function cash um, increase in activity related to ending balance, and I can save that annotation. I can continue to look through and incorporate different relationships as well, maybe cash to assets, um, if this was something that I had not pre-populated into my ratio section. Once again, this is an interesting analysis, cash to assets, and I've made my inquiry within this particular annotation function. 
Now all these annotations will end up in the annotation tab. And what that allows the user to do is to consolidate the different comments or inquiries that they have around a particular account to help quickly build a work paper. Once again, I can select the ones related to a specific area and I can export those into a nice clean Excel file for my work papers. This work paper is going to have the exact visualization, who made the annotation, uh, what the annotation was related to, and then we can populate it with any comments from our findings. Now if I head back to the analysis, we've focused on the financial statements, trends, and ratios tab. However, you're able to utilize the same functionality on our risk overview tab. Maybe there was a specific question that we were corroborating um, management comments and we were digging into a particular area. In this case, maybe it was the seasonality of the product where we can see the transactions over time. What we're able to quickly see here is the month of June had much less activity than the remainder of the year. I'm able to make this annotation and then export this into our work papers where I can quickly answer that question and have consistent documentation around these inquiries that I'm making. Some of the recommended approaches also include adding the work paper reference within the annotation. That way it's already included in your export. So every time you're exporting a particular annotation, there's already that linkage to the, the document in your working paper solution. The last workflow can be found around the data table. Within the data table, we're able to quickly filter and manipulate the data set to select specific transactions. We can then use our intelligence sampler or we can manually select transactions or entries within the system. Let's say I wanted to investigate these three high risk um, entries that we have. I can create a task around these items, um, associate them with a particular audit area, and if, the, if it doesn't pre-populate, we can go ahead and add high risk transactions and the different parameters around the sample. We'll just call it HR for high risk and create the task. Once a task is created or an item has been selected from the data table, it then moves over into the audit plan found on the left hand side of the screen on the blue bar. When we select the audit plan, it'll bring up all the different samples that we selected within the tool. Within here, we can go ahead and filter for a specific sample. We can filter for an audit area and then we can select and export these particular items. So in the top right hand corner, we can go ahead and export this into an Excel or CSV column. And you can also indicate which columns you want incorporated into the export. In this case, we'll, we'll stick with all of the available columns. All exports from the data table and audit plan will create this consistent format. In this format, we've got the blue area, which represents the transaction straight from the, the ledger provided. The green area is how it was selected within MindBridge and all of the parameters that were in place to make that selection. And then on the right hand side, we've got all the different control points here that were uh, triggering, which led to this particular selection in the MindBridge software. Included in this export is also a settings tab that relates to the control points. So we can see all the different weightings, the keywords, and any other parameters such as our high dollar top percentage found in column R uh, that supports the control points and the explainability around why a particular transaction was selected in our system. This is a nice clean format that can be used and manipulated in a variety of ways where we can uh, go ahead and also adjust and, and look at the specific entries from multiple different perspectives or maybe who made the selection within the tool. The consistency in the output and the format help add efficiencies to the review and supervision process as well as around the consistency of the data selection and why items were selected within the MindBridge software. In summary, there are a number of workflows, automated and unique exports, as well as detailed documentation that supports the analysis within MindBridge. The efficiency of having data consolidated in one place and the consistency of the export will help improve the process and quality of your work papers.